great. It's going to help us, uh, you know, speed beer through the uh, cellars a lot faster. We can get a little bit more efficiency on our tanks. So, quarter so of a million means, dollars. Means more beer, right? Yeah, and faster. Beer. Yes. That's good. It's Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Y'all a brew head? Yeah, we brew heads. So, pour a glass of craft beer. We can do this. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Are you a brew head? I'm a brew head. Y'all a brew head? Yeah, we brew heads. So pour a glass of craft beer. We can do this. Yeah. All right, y'all. Welcome to BAOS Podcast, episode 26. And we are here at Bar Hop 2 uh, on this lovely Sunday afternoon. Beautiful patio up here. Um, and who are you? I'm Scott Beer, Cold Beer Enthusiast. Who are you? I'm C Certified Brewhead. And sir, who are you? I'm Sam Corbett, Brewmaster and Co-Founder of the Side of City Brewing Company. Sweet. Amazing. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Coming all the way up from... Uh, down from yes. uh, Gravenhurst today. I appreciate country. that, brother. Yeah, so well, I, I was going the opposite way. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, man, how's things? Everything good? Yeah, it's great. Summer's been insanely busy. Summer, summer in the beer craft beer world. We just added five tanks in May. Nice. Upped our capacity by about 67%. Fantastic. And right now we're learning our new centrifuge. Which okay. Great. It's going to help us, uh, you know, speed beer through the uh, cellars a lot faster. I mean, a little bit more efficiency on our tanks. So, a quarter so of a million means, dollars. It's more beer, right? Yeah, and faster. Beer. Yes. That's good. It shaves a couple days off. You don't need to log the beers as long. And you get a little bit more to the tank bottom. So, it's all good things. Uh, it was a big investment, but we feel it's going to be, like, really help the beer and, uh, get us more efficient. Sweet. Amazing. So how, when did Soda City uh, really kick off? Okay, the first, we got our manufacturer's license on October 31st, 2010. Wow, okay. Oh, jeez. Well, it was in 11. It was either 10 or 11. 2011. 2011. And okay. we sold our first beer November 18th, 2011. Now we are contracting out of the Niagara uh, College. Yeah, okay. And then we moved to doing some... Um, Contracting out of Black Oak in Etobicoke. Yeah, yes. So we were always planning on building up a Gravenhurst. We originally uh, were going to be a brew pub right on the water, and we had purchased a plot of land, and we were going to build a building. Uh, but we started contracting, and then I started working at the school just through... They asked if I wanted to work there while I was contracting. I'm like, sure, why not? So I worked there for a bit, and we contracted, and then we started selling more and more, and by the time we got to about to build... We were already already going to the LCBO, and we're like, we, we're not going to be a brew pub anymore. We're going to be a brewery. So we had to basically put it about a year and a half behind, because then we had to source a building, which was uh, we ended up moving into an old Canadian Tire in Graveners, right on the main street. It's about a 20,000 square foot facility over the two floors, and uh, it looked really big when we started, and it started shrinking in size when we fill it up. But uh, we moved in there, uh, did our first brew June. 27th, 2014, so just over two years brewing there. Uh, our grand opening was uh, Labor Day weekend that year, so our second anniversary at uh, the Sada City location at Gravenhurst will be uh, Labor Day weekend this year. Amazing. Cool. So speaking of that, we're, uh, we're drinking the... Uh, the uh, collaboration beer, the Coriolis 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 effect. effect. Right, and this is a three point five percent Berliner Weiss. Berliner Weiss sour. So we did a kettle sour on it, where we. um, So what is that process? So we hold the we mash in as per normal and water, and then we go into the kettle. What we do is we save the wort in the kettle uh, at about 50 degrees Celsius for the weekend, for about 72 hours, and we pitch a, a strain of uh, lactobacillus called lactobacillus brevis, uh, which we get from the guys of the Escarpment Yeast Labs in Guelph, Ontario. And uh, so in that 72 hours, um, the lactobacillus, uh, goes through, the beer, will go, the wort will go through a lactic fermentation, which drops the pH to about... Uh, 3.3 to 3.5 giving it that tartness mm-hmm. and then we come in on Monday we fire the kettle up and we boil add our hops and boil as per usual and uh, you, then you just ferment out like a normal beer it's just it's just more tart and I find it's a very as long as you follow these steps there's a couple things you got to take into account temperature uh, making sure you're using a good clean strain of uh, lactobacillus and always having CO2 kind of bubbling through it uh, we'll keep your beer clean and just give it a nice tart sourness without any of the uh, off flavors that you sometimes find. In, uh, is, is there something a home brewer can do? Can a home brewer make oh, a Oh, for sure. You can totally do it, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's, there's a number.
number of different ways to do it. There's some really great uh, websites out there um, that will take you step by step how to do it, either through a kettle sour, a mash sour, or souring it in the fermenter. That takes a little bit longer sometimes, but uh, some great web. Uh, one of the websites, I think it's just called Sour Beer Blog. Mm, right. It's really great, and it's a guy. It's a he just writes it out step by step exactly how you do it, and. It's worth the read if you're interested in it. Cool, that's super dope. So this, um, can you talk us through what we're tasting here? So uh, it's a 50% wheat beer, uh, which is traditionally uh, how Berlin and Weisses are made. Very low IBUs, maybe like five total. Okay. Uh, and then the low alcohol, the, the, doesn't really, I get a little bit of honey and some uh, lemon. I get apple, it's almost like a, yeah. a, a, similar to a cider in a sense. It's got that tartness totally yeah, comes through and like the nice Smith. Uh, yeah, crisp. I definitely get lemon, it's a uh, real citrusy, yeah. lemony flavor. Yeah. yeah, it's delicious. Yeah. Like you said, it's, uh, I think you said earlier, it's lemonade for adults. Yeah, I love that. That's really exactly nice. what it is. And we had 3.5, you know what you can, you can have, have a few, yeah. You know, exactly. not worry about the consequences. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this bad boy is about to be on the uh, LCBO show yep. as soon as they get their act together. Yes. So it won't be long. Yeah. Um, it sh- should be this week, maybe next week. Across. By the time this comes out, which will be a few weeks, it'll be on, it'll be on the show. So make sure you check that out. Link to the show notes. Um, and it's a collab with Baba. Yes. How does that happen? Um, Matt, Matt and Rob. So they're the owners? Yeah. Them? And they run this place. Uh... We've done collabs with them in the past. They're really great guys. Uh, they, you know, carry a lot of our beer, which is awesome. If, you, if you're, you want to be in places like Bar Up, this is where the cool kids are, right? That's right. So we wanted to be here, and they run a great bar. And we've just been, you know, we talk and we're friends, and let's do a beer. So we did a beer a couple years ago called the Blood Cthulhu, which is definitely not a summer beer. No, uh, it's an imperial stout with uh, raspberries, tart cherries, and... Uh, Cranberries. Oh, good lord. Yeah, that, that was Matt. Matt, well, he came to me a number a couple years ago, and he said he wanted to make an imperial, like that exact beer and call it Blood of Kazula. I'm like, you got the idea, then let's just do it. So we did that, and it was a lot of fun working with them. So they, Matt came back again and wanted to do a Berliner for, I, can't, I think it was for an event. In my mind, I, it's been a while since we first did it. And then he wanted to call the Coriolis effect. So, sure. What does that mean? Does that mean? Well, the Coriolis effect is the phenomenon of tra- water traveling in a different direction than the rotation of the Earth. Right. And it, it, it in the southern and northern hemisphere. On the southern and northern hemisphere. So remember Australia, that? Every, yeah. Remember the same thing? So that was what I wanted to put. On, we were talking about putting on a label, but toilets on beer labels don't necessarily work. <laughs> go so, down too low. Well. Well, they do associate themselves sometimes. If you have a few too oh, many, right? Right. Right. The correct America. Praying to the porcelain gods. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I wanted to know with your journey specifically, how did you become a brewer? When did you decide you want to brew beer as a profession and how did you go about doing it? I was in 